Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit 5, lesson 11, part 2. It tells us this program prints every element in the list and also numbers them. Add code to print a number list of every element in the list of colors. Let's go ahead and run this just to see what happens. I can see here in the console log that it went ahead and it printed my list and it gave us a count. So if we look through this, they created a variable at the top before they ran their for loop. This is to be a placeholder to put the pets into that variable so that when it prints out to the console log, it prints out the animal at that index. In the for loop, we can see that i is assigned zero. It's looking to see is that variable i less than the length of this list. If it is, it'll run through the loop. We can see here that it replaces the variable pet with the indexed animal. And then it goes ahead and it pulls the index location. It adds one so that on the console log, it shows one here instead of zero because humans count starting at one. We had that colon space and then we add the pet variable. And so now we're going to go ahead and do this with colors. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create our own variable. So let's go to variables and we're going to create one called color. Now we're going to create our for loop. So let's go to control. We'll do for loop. I is set to zero. That's fine. Right here we're looking to see is I less than four? Well, we have five colors within this list, so that doesn't really work for us. We could change this number, but best practices would say to do favorite colors dot length. And that way it'll check out once it gets to the end of the list. And then we add one to the variable. Within this, we want to assign a variable. So let's go back to variables. We'll do color is equal to favorite colors and the index of i. So what this will do is it'll pull the color, it'll replace the variable, and then what we need to do now is print that to the console. If we pull the console log and drag that below, we're going to just mimic what they did above. We're going to go to the math section and we're going to add a few of these. What we're going to do is do i plus 1 and that's so when it prints out, it'll be the same number that we use when we're counting. It won't start at zero. We're going to do quotes, colon, space, quotes. And then we'll do the variable color. Let's go ahead and run our code to see if it runs right. We can see that we actually have some issues. And I think it has something to do with the parentheses that we use. Let's go ahead and click show text and let's remove out some unnecessary things here. Technically, this should be in parentheses. Let's go ahead and clear this out and rerun it. And that fixed our issue here. These blocks are convenient, but when they add certain things like the parentheses, it threw off what we were doing. I'm leaving this in the video just so that you can see it in case you run into that problem. It's one of those small details you got to pay attention to. Once you're done with this, make sure you click finish.